Well, Shelby County Commissioner Henry Brooks is at the center of a firestorm again over comments she made comparing Hispanics to African Americans. The discussion was about whether a roofing company was discriminating against blacks because the majority of their employees are Hispanic. WREG's Katie Rufiner talked to Brooks, who stands behind her comments. Don't ever let that come out of your mouth again, because you know what? That only hurts your case. Don't compare the two. They're not comparable. Commissioner Henry Brooks says the struggles of Hispanics and African Americans aren't the same in this country. I was really shocked that that type of terminology was coming from a community leader. Pablo Perea of the Hispanic Republic Alliance says he never expected to hear a commissioner say things like this. You asked to come here. You asked to come here. We did not. Perea joined a discussion on whether a roofing company is discriminating by having mostly Hispanic workers. You've got 25 employees, roofers, and none of them are black, then you have some explaining to do. I see you guys smirking and laughing like a minority. I know what it's like to be a minority. I grew up in Memphis. And I can tell you, being a Hispanic in Memphis is definitely the minority of the minority. Commissioner Brooks wasn't done just yet. Next, she called out her fellow commissioner, Chris Thomas, for disagreeing with her. And Thomas, for one, says those comments were racist and disrespectful. Excuse me, uh, you over there mouthing something? Commissioner. You with the sheet on. Carry on. She knows. I took that as her saying I'm part of the KKK just because I disagreed with something she said. I talked to Commissioner anyway. Brooks on the phone. She believes Thomas is grandstanding and said what yes, she meant at the meeting. She may have a perspective, but that is not the majority of what our county believes. In Shelby County, Katie Rufiner, WREG News Channel 3. Now, Commissioner Brooks told WREG over the phone that she considers this to be old news and that she is done talking about it. In the end, the contract for the roofing company ultimately passed.